everyone welcome back to another mess day vlog it is the international break and normally i would still be sleeping especially after last night's game against portugal but i cannot miss this game because this game could potentially be the game that decides the league that game that at the end in may you will look back to saying if only this team won then they would have been promoted and that game is between the top two teams in the second league polonia Bitum and Pogun Kojic Mazowiecki. We've officially reached the halfway point of the season uh, because the first match of the season was between both teams as well, which surprisingly was won by Pogon. But now it's not a surprise anymore. Pogon is in first place with 43 points, three points more than Polonia Biton. And a more important fact, Pogon is undefeated so far in the second division. Polonia, after their loss against Pogon in the first round, went for like an 11 win streak uh, but were stopped recently by Vichestva with the help of the referees. But if they win today, anything is open still. It's a free horse race this season because Vichestva is the third team. Seeing the rest of the league, I'm pretty sure it's between these three teams. It will be decided who promotes directly. And as mentioned at the start, this game could be a decider. I'm looking forward to it. I'm already at the stadium, so let's get inside. It's a bit windy, man. My sausage almost flew away. Looks like I'm not the only YouTuber here. So because there's no away sector, uh, the away fans are standing there with agreement with Polonia Beton. They already did this kind of agreements with like Kakikas, Kailish. Football is for fans. <laughs> Both sides are pretty imbalanced. Both had opportunities to score, but Pogon took theirs on a mistake in the defense. Uh, Polonia is playing on a one in the back, so. They are a bit vulnerable there. Both group of fans are pretty vocal. Uh, unfortunately, not in my sector. Unless you can't complaining to that. Volka <laughs> Polonia! Ai, ai, 
Сука ты где? Yeah, Polonia only have themselves to blame for that loss. Pogon was very compact, organized, and Polonia kept playing through the middle, like into the crowd. Second half, it was all Polonia basically. Uh, Pogon was playing on the counter, but Polonia couldn't find the, the right man. They were making wrong decisions. Now it's six points between Pogon and Polonia, but yeah, it looks like Polonia has to start hoping that Pogon will drop points somewhere. Both teams still have to face Winchester, so that could be a point. But we'll have to wait and see what Winchester does in the winter transfer window, because money is endless there. That was it for this weekend. Not much football. Next weekend we'll be back with the regular program and we'll visit the new stadium. So stay tuned for that one. Please like and subscribe. You know what to do. I'll see each other in the next video. Bye-bye.